I, uh, I have a different view on a ride and drive than what uh, others might like to have. Um, and I'll tell you flat, I was expecting a lot out of the VW. The ID4 to me was a good looking car. It had lots of things I liked, some things I didn't really care for, but I could learn to like. The ride and drive experience <coughs> was not what I expected. So in order for you to really understand what it is that I do when I do one of these ride and drives, I have to tell you um, my thought pattern. So my premise is I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry and I'm going to get in a car that I've never been in before. So I just landed. I'm in a strange city. I, I go to National Rental Car because that's where I go. I go to Emerald Isle. I grab a car. I get in and I go. I don't have videos. I don't have uh, reading manuals. I don't phone a friend. I don't do any of that. <laughs> None of it. That to me is a true test of an intuitive product design. Intuitive. It means that it's exactly what I'm expecting. And I wasn't expecting at all what I got. I'm not a happy guy uh, when I'm not getting what I want. So I'm going to tell you three things happened that I didn't like. Number one, I didn't know I was going to have to drive to Timbuktu in order to get a charge for that car. Uh, number two, um, I, I didn't know that uh, I didn't know that there was magic tricks that you had to perform in order to make things happen if you wanted to use the um, uh, the mapping and geo system on that car. And number three, I was in a hurry. I was in a big hurry. I had a phone call with some guys that are doing basically a, a new a new form of rocket, and I had to be back here in a hurry. And I wasn't happy, not happy at all. You need to know that so that you can put yourselves in the right frame of mind as to where I am. Thank you for watching Monroe, uh, Monroe Live. I, uh, I appreciate that. Okay, hi boys and girls. Um, today we're gonna do a little ride and drive. We wanna try out the, uh, the, the, the VW here. The, uh, the car itself, we've, uh, we've looked at it a little bit and we're pretty happy with what we see. We're going to drive out to um, Novi, which is a long way from where we are right here. I was shocked at how few uh, Electrify American stations there are. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's jump in, get going, and uh, we'll see if I can figure out how to drive this thing. Okay, so um, back up driving here with the uh, screen only. Seems to work fairly well. Uh, I'm pretty happy, didn't bang into anything. Okay, so hopefully somebody will figure out that the door's open. They'll figure out how to close it, I'm sure. All right, we're off. Let me put this back on. So we're going to be in the car for 45 minutes. Um, uh, I'm sure that there'll be uh, not much to look at. Um, so uh, if, there's, uh, if there's something that's really interesting, we'll probably uh, stop or pause or whatever. Other than that, we'll just keep going. Actually, you know what? I know what we need to do. Um, one of the things I loved about the Tesla was um, automatic driving and um, and the uh, the ability to uh, to uh, pump in uh, pump in a chart. So uh, all right, so I've never seen this one before. Since charging, launch charging. Let's go and see if we can find something. Okay, now locations. Okay, add a position. Uh, well, hmm. if we were in the Tesla, this would already show a bunch of maps. 
and uh, I got to make sure that there's nobody in back of me. You know what? This is like the wrong time to. Ah, oh, never mind. So I see here data. Let's let's do this. Um, that isn't what I want. Where's charging? It tells me where the charger is. Well, that's nice, but that's not what I want. Locations. Add a location. What? This thing doesn't tell me where I need to go. What? What's going on here? I can I gotta. I'm gonna have to go into a parking lot or something to figure this one out. It was easy. It was easy with a Tesla. I mean, you just you just pushed on where you wanted to go, which which charging station you wanted to go. This is. You should know that uh, that um, that uh, the. Uh, uh, the charging stations in the U.S. Um, um, Electrify American, they were all, they're all uh, basically, they're, they were funded by, uh, by Volkswagen uh, because of their uh, deal with the, with the problem. So enter a name. Uh, how about Novi? Go. Charging location. What happened? I think that was back. What is going on here? Hang on. N O V I. Try OK at the bottom. Bottom right. Novi. Oh. What the hell's going on? Charging. Settings for Novi. I just want to get there. What is it? You got to make it. Do you have to make an appointment? Preferred times. What in the hell am I looking at? What? How in the hell? This is this is goofy. How am I going to make a long-term kind of? How how I don't get it. This doesn't tell me. How come there's no map? It. Uh, okay, so let me. Uh, I didn't figure I was going to be doing anything like this. So, data. Let's go back and see if I can find a map. How, where is the? Uh, I have an address. Oh no, it's, I don't care about the address. Okay. okay, somebody walks in and starts using this thing. I'd, I'd like to know how, I, how I'm gonna get there. I see menu, I push menu. Menu tells me that I'm, I'm, I'm in a parking lot. Well, that's, that's great. Where's, where's, how do I get mode? Comfort, you can't, that's not it, assist. Where's GPS? Uh, I'm already not liking this and I'm already late for a whole bunch of stuff. Assist. I don't, I don't care about that. You're kidding me. Anybody see anything or have a suggestion as to where uh, or how we uh, we get to the uh, GPS system or Well, I know how to get there and I ain't got time for this crap
fine. It drives fine. It tracks straight. It feels like a Volkswagen. Um, that's why they lead the planet with uh, with sales for uh, for cab drivers. It's a it's a perfect uh, perfect car for a cab driver. Always. <clears throat> Anybody that is in a cab and drives something else um, is probably going to either lose his butt um, or he's going to uh, be frustrated. Uh, Volkswagen's noted for. Uh, for being a, a you know a well a well built car for a cab driver, it'll it won't go fast. It um, it'll break like it should. Um, it's utilitarian, uh, like a, like a like some of the uh, Toyota products. But to me, it's it's definitely not the car I'd ever buy. It does hold the road nicely. Um, it it doesn't go fast. I'm not, I'm hoping we don't see any kind of an emergency, but if it does, <clears throat> I'm sure it'll handle well, and I'll be able to get out of any kind of a problem, period. Um, but the one thing that I am surprised at, I'm gonna take my foot off the, we're going 81 miles an hour, I'm gonna take my foot off the brake, and I, or accelerator, and I'm gonna find out how quickly regen kicks in. Well, it doesn't. So I don't know how to get to, off a of coast mode, because that's what's happening. I don't know. I don't know anything about what's going on here. But I do know one thing. Um, when I took my foot off the accelerator and I didn't have um, the uh, what do you call it set, um, I, I was definitely uh, I was definitely slowing down at a fairly rapid pace and recharging at the same time. So that's what Regen's supposed to do. Yeah, I think you have to say hey, I need. Yeah. Google. Yeah. Okay. Hey, ID. Turn on map. Okay. You piece of. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say, hey, ID. You know what? I don't have to talk to my phone in order to get it to do what I want it to do. I asked for that damn thing to turn on the map, but I didn't address it properly. I don't know how we got to where we got to. The only, the only guy that can make this thing work is it has to sit in the back seat. I don't get it. I really do not. Fig I can't figure it out. And when I can't figure out something right away, I lose interest. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I, uh, I got the opportunity to drive the uh, VW uh, to a charging station. I had to go quite a ways to get to it. I, uh, I think that this is a great car for an old person. Um, I think that if you're a taxi driver, this is the one you'd probably want to have. But personally, this is not my kind of a vehicle. Um, I think that there'll be plenty of folks that'll want to buy something like this. Someone that wants to make a slow transition. But for me, I have a really short fuse. I don't like to have things that don't work immediately or are not intuitive. And this system is not intuitive. So, um, boys and girls, sorry for the bad news. I was really expecting a lot more out of VW. I, I thought that this could be a killer to that. And um, I really, uh, uh, I really, uh, Tesla has no, uh, no worries. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry about the results, but don't shoot the piano player.